Okay, happy Friday everybody. It's actually Friday afternoon. It's about 12.30. I had breakfast ready for Tammy again when she got home this morning. Fell asleep early, got up at 5, so been screwing around and just chilling out, hanging out on the couch, watching some videos. It's, uh, it turned cold out again. It's trying to spit snow out, but anyway, parts are in in Fremont, so we're going to go back and see if they're the right ones. I hope they are this time, right from Ford. So, uh, see you down there. Well, okay, camera died. So, uh, went to Peking's and brought home some wonton soup and some egg rolls. Me and Tammy had late lunch. And, uh, so I'm out here in the garage right now. We're going to get the excavator out and we're going to do some we're going to cut some wood. Just had a round of grapple come through. And it's gone already. Little, well, you can see the little pellets everywhere. Kind of half snowing, half raining. You coming back in? Whatever you're doing, Dad, I'm going with you. Meathead. So, yeah, we're going to get the excavator out and chainsaw. And we're going to cut up a few more of them logs. See you out there. Okay, grab the nice piece of hickory out of the pile, got it up here, we'll uh, get the sawn. Okay, uh, got all that split put away, swept it all up again, raked it all up, took, this, took the blade on the excavator and pushed it all into the pile. I gotta get rid of that pile one of these days, that'll be the good job for the bobcat and the grapple. Grabbed another one, brought it up, I'm not sure what this is. That might be, that might be hickory. I don't think it is though. I don't know. We'll find out when we cut into her. They go nasty. Not here on the end. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Drag a log up here, cut it up, split it, throw it in there, make a good pile. So I don't want to bore you guys with it, but that's what we're doing while he's running around. Grabs a piece of bark. And takes off with it and goes and puts it in the yard somewhere. Whole new different definition of your dog barking. <laughs> actually, now that I've cut it, I think I think it's actually an elm tree. Anybody got any ideas? Or if I'm prove me wrong, I mean I'm I'm not an expert, but I think I think that was an elm. And there ain't many of them around. We had that Dutch elm disease go through years ago, 30 years ago, and it wiped them all out. But this one must have been a survivor. Uh, come back afterwards or something. That's like the ash borer. The ash borer went through. There's some little ash trees in the woods growing, so I hope it doesn't come back and get them. Because I'd be ashamed to never have another ash tree. Hey, look at this. Hi, Lester. Hi, buddy. You got your truck ready to back up here? Yeah, I do. I was just coming to see you on uh, what you're doing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Cleveland tomorrow. Oh. Well, it's uh, 
twelve twenty twelve thirty five. Got a bunch of wood cut. Didn't do anything on the didn't do anything on the truck. Drank a few cold snacks. Quite a few cold snacks. So I'm gonna fill the wood burner up and I'm going to bed. So happy Friday everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching.